Hello and welcome to the part 2 of a series of tutorials on Web API 2 with Entity Framework 6. So in the first part, we have created the project and now in the second part, we are going to add models and controllers. We will then add crude operations on those entities by creating the database entities through Entity Framework. So we will start by defining our domain objects as plain old CLR objects, we will create the following POCOs, authors and books. So in the solution explorer, right click the models folder, click on add class and in the add new item, we will write author, it will be author.cs class or author class just copy the code, highlight the existing code, copy it over with the copied code from the clipboard and we'll add another class in the models folder which is known as book class. Again we'll copy the code from the clipboard, highlight the existing code and copy it over with the clipboard code. Now Entity Framework will use these models to create database tables. For each model, the ID property will become the primary key column of the database table. In the book class, author ID, author ID defines a foreign key into the author table. For simplicity, I am assuming that each book has a single author. The book class also contains a navigation property to the related author. That's this one. You can use the navigation property to access the related author in code. So I will say more about the navigation properties in part 4 which is handling entity relations. Now we will add some web API controllers. So click on the right click on the controllers folder, click on add controller, go with the web API to controller with actions using EF. And model class, this is author. Data context class, just click on this one. Click on add. Click on add again. Go with the default name. So there was an error getting the type book service dot models. Try rebuilding the project. So we'll have to, we'll click on cancel. And before that, I will just delete the values controller, which I forgot to tell you in the first step. And then Control Shift B to build it. The build has succeeded. Again, we'll go to the controller folder, click on Add Controller, click on Add Model Class. Again, Author data context class, click on this plus icon, click on add, click on the add button again. This time it's all right, fine. And we'll add another controller, that is the books controller. So again, right click controllers folder, add controller, click on add. We'll base the model class on this book class. So everything else is the same, click on add. Again, I have to rebuild the project, so cancel. So rebuild succeeded. So click on add controller. Book. 
control in books controller click on add so we have got the books controller also added now we have got these files authors controller books controller and book service context.cs so authors controller defines a web api controller the controller implements the rest api that clients use to perform crud operations on the list of authors and this book service context in the models folder this manages entity objects during runtime which includes populating objects with data from a database changing tracking and persisting data to the database it inherits from the db context class so at this point we'll just build the application we'll succeed it so that's it for this uh, tutorial thank you for watching if you like the tutorial you can put your likes and even subscribe thank you very much